Hello and welcome back to the cat lady. Uh, we are here on the balcony with uh, Mitzi. And we were just talking about the fact that the monsters are just monsters us. Are us. Murderers, rapists, arsonists. They're the real beasts. So far from humanity. They're no longer capable of feeling compassion or guilt. They're the ones we should really be afraid of. But whether they're lurking in the woods or fog or the darkness of our cellars, it's all irrelevant. You can't predict what happens. You can't do anything to stop it. Yeah. There is only one way. You turn into a beast yourself. And like them, you show no mercy. Which is really what Whoa. Susan's got to do. Where did that come from, Miss Ashworth? I just don't like murderers. They're nothing but parasites. <laughs> All right, I guess we have to talk so, about the big C. Want to talk about it? Well, to be honest, I didn't really want to tell you about it like that. I put you in a very difficult position. I know. It's just that I was really desperate to get this room. I hope you can understand. This is the last and most important thing I must do before my time is up. It's fine. You seem all right. It's just, I find it hard to trust people these days. Maybe it's time I opened my eyes to see others have problems too. Some, That's fair. like yourself, even bigger than mine. What kind of cancer is it? Do you mind me asking? Brain tumor. Her name is glioblastoma. Huh. Yep, Yikes. they're all girls, the way I imagine it. Just look at their names. Lymphoma, melanoma, myeloma, leukemia, sarcoma. Each of them a fucking goddess of death. Beautiful and ruthless. Hmm, you might just be right about that, I guess that, that's one way to look I at it. I used to be a nurse. I know a few things about cancer. And I know glioblastoma. She's a real bitch. Yeah, and yet she gets to be the prom queen before night ends, while I disappear down the back exit. That's really a shame. How huh? long? He said I had a year. But that was six months ago, so... Yeah. Not awfully long. Jeez. Is there anything? They've tried. I guess they I'm found sorry. it too late. Maybe. Yeah. For some such. So am I. Do you want to talk about something else? Hmm. You mentioned a boyfriend. Tell me something about him. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about him. His name's Jack. Okay. Dead. Oh. Oh. Lovely. Miss Ashworth, are you sure you want to listen about my miserable life? I don't want to bring you down. These aren't happy stories. And I'm not a happy stories kind of person. I'm sure you've noticed by now. I guess so. I, mean, I guess that makes sense. Anyway, I suppose I would have had to tell you about Jack sooner or later. After all, he is the main reason I'm here. Did this... Dude, kill Jack, maybe? Or cause Jack to... Tell me how you two met. Oh, we knew each other for like, forever. We grew up on the same street. It's funny how we seem to be made for each other. Perfect match. Yeah. I always knew he was the guy for me, and I'm sure he never doubted that either. Jack was That's absolutely nice. crazy about me. We thought one day we would marry, have children, be happy. I never had many friends because I had Jack. I didn't need anybody else. Eh. <clears throat> no, there's one thing I'm really grateful for in my life. It's that I got to experience this pure, perfect love. Some people go through a lifetime without knowing how it feels. I guess I've been very lucky. I bet she has. But all luck runs out sometimes. I've just noticed though, she's very blurry, especially in the face. Like, uh, 
Susan can't quite remember her face. How did he take the news about your cancer? He thought I was joking at first. He laughed. And he got really angry. I swore to him I was serious, but he still wouldn't believe me. We had a big fight that night. It was our first and only fight. It was awful. He smashed some stuff. His guitar, of all things, was the worst. He loved that guitar. Why did he break it? He was absolutely furious. I mean, sometimes big feelings are hard to describe and express. He begged me to try surgery and chemotherapy. I didn't really want those things, but I did the chemo for him. It didn't help. It just made me feel sick all the time. I felt trapped in this strange place when nothing that happened around me seemed real. Maybe that's why I didn't see what my cancer was doing to Jack, and it was destroying him as well. He changed. He became obsessed with death. It seemed death was all he ever thought about, even though it was me, not him, who was supposed to die. Jack made those pictures on your wall. Was he an artist? He always liked all kinds of morbid stuff, whether it was music, movies, paintings. So do I, really. We had that in common, amongst other things. People say it's depressing to listen to sad songs or watch sad films, but I never felt that way. And yet, you are scared of fog? Oh, that's different. I might be scared of fog, but I like spiders. Mm. Beautiful. You must be out of your mind, Mitzi. No, I'm honestly, thinking the same thing there. There's a certain indescribable beauty in sadness. Just like there's beauty in the grey and ugly winter morning when you look past the obvious and notice what others can't see. You must love my apartment then. It's like ugly took a vacation here and never went home again. Alright, I guess. How did he die? How did Jack die? so distant in the last few weeks before before he died what I didn't know was that he kept looking for something I don't think he even knew what exactly but it eventually found him or rather he found him there are those forums online you know about all sorts of stuff fishing computer games horses gambling addictions everything really Accidentally, Jack stumbled upon one about suicide. There's I mean, a guy there. He calls himself the Eye of Adam. He's a fucking god on that forum. It's like a failed suicide club. People mostly try to help each other and offer support. Sometimes it just helps to know there are others like you. To listen to their stories and, and how they cope with their lives. Right. The Eye of Adam is an advocate of death. Of course he is. He dwells is. on human weakness. His job is to plant an idea. To give them a reason to die and tell them how to do it. Once and for good. Jack took the bait. Before he knew, he was completely brainwashed. One day, he sat down with me and tried to explain his perfect solution. It was the Romeo and Juliet kind of scenario. We were both to die together in each other's arms. It was supposed to be a quick and foolproof death. There was no chance we would have been saved. All thanks to the eye of Adam, who created a tool for perfect suicide. He told me it was very simple. All we needed were two easily accessible household chemicals, which combined together create a gas called hydrogen sulfide that kills you within a couple of minutes. I told him he was fucking I'm guessing one of them is going to be bleach, considering just we just had bleach up. poured on our eyes. Me, and he begged, and eventually just kept screaming at me. I figured it was his crazy idea of a modern romance, but it was downright tacky and just wrong. Yeah, Romeo and Juliet is, Juliet is not something you should aspire for me in our to be. Place at dawn. Five in the morning. Don't be late. Those were his last words he said to me. Then he stormed out. I cried for 
hours thinking I, I didn't deserve all that from the person I love most in the whole world. A few times I even tried to persuade myself that maybe he was right and I should do it. But I just couldn't. I eventually fell asleep. I didn't plan it. My head was killing me. I was so tired. I woke up suddenly. I could see the sun rising out my window. It was nearly five. In utter panic, I threw myself off the bed and ran out the door. I needed to stop him. I needed to get there before it was too late. I got right there in my bedroom. Before I even left. When I arrived at our special place, it was already bright. We used to go there in the past, drink wine, sometimes smoke weed and listen to Pink Floyd, sometimes make love in Jack's car. There wasn't really anything special about that old parking lot, but to us there was. It was completely abandoned. It was quiet. It was safe. After right. that day, I've never gone there again. Uh, yeah, so... Up. I guess this is... Uh, we get to play as her for a minute there. <clears throat> uh, this way. Because I don't think there'd be anything back the way we just came. You know, for old parking lot, there's a lot of cars. What does that even say? There were signs on the car windows. Warning signs, yeah. I found on that forum that the Eye of Adam doesn't want any accidental deaths. So we posted this poster design for people to print. It turns out there's a whole sick ideology behind it. Fumes from the car could hurt anyone who opens the door, and that's not the point. The idea is to die willingly and with clear mind, to prepare for it, to embrace it. Jesus. You'd think the police would investigate the whole thing. It sounds almost like a sect. I feel like this is before, um... You know, a lot of to track him down. the I'm internet security so stuff. Close. I can almost smell that fucker. I'm so sorry. I think now I understand. He loved you so. It might have been. He couldn't bear the thought of living without you, and that you know, guy. Although the eye of Adam. I'm not surprised you want to find him. I know I would. Although I'm not sure if I he killed himself, you only want to talk to him. But hey, that's none of my business. I wouldn't know what I'd do if this happened to me. Good to know. But I really just want to talk. I want to face Jack's killer and tell him what he's done to me. You know, the funny part is that he actually told me where he lives. He wants to meet me. Would you believe that? How come? Well. This kind of thing he does is called trolling on the internet. It's usually a form of extreme bullying, psychological cruelty. Those who are clever enough say, don't be the troll. Don't talk to them. It... It only makes it worse if you show any interest in them at all. I mean, that's I have true. Added no exception. He craves attention. He's a hungry troll who wants to devour as many hearts as he can get a hold of. I emailed him and told him I was a massive fan who loves his work. He wouldn't believe me at first. But trolls are always hungry. And I was prepared to serve him a meal fit for a king. What do you mean? So we're I trolling so the trolls. I that he really believed I'm a suicide preacher just like him. Great. I wish he'd given you his door number though. It's all a part of some sick game he's playing. Sooner or later. I'll find him. I mean, we will find him. What are those two chemical products? Well, I... I'm not sure if you want to know that. Just, you know... I get it. You don't want to tell me because I'm a fucking suicidal maniac. Is that it? No, Miss Ashworth. 
No, I, I didn't mean it like that. It's getting that. a lot foggier, isn't it? Okay. Maybe to some extent. Just replace maniac with victim and fucking with recovering. You've only just come back from the hospital. Whatever it was that made you do it, you proved you are capable of going through with it. I don't know you long enough to tell you if you're completely over it now. And the last thing I want is to give you stupid ideas. It would be just like what the Eye of Adam does. I, I would mean, never forgive myself if anything happened to you because of me. I mean, how we... could I? Um... I've learnt my lesson. Dying is not for me. I'd really like to believe you, Miss Ashworth. But I will need you to promise me that you will never try this method. All right. I can promise you that I will never try this method. Or any other method, for that matter. Been there, done that. Didn't enjoy I guess that's why she said... Do you believe me now? Um... Yeah. I think I do. Good. I'm glad you said that, you know. The recipe for this deadly cocktail is very simple. Any good housewife can make it in a blast. Oh look, we're alive again. Um... That's why when we showed ourselves, I guess we were like, Sorry, I have to break that promise. Alright, um... Can I... Ooh, cat grabber. I guess we're probably going to want that anyway. Examine. Uh, strange noise. Alright, we'll leave that. Up. Uh, let's see. Maybe this way? Radio, window, sofa. lamp. I guess we can't do anything in here. We need... Alright, so we need a light bulb for in here. And I'm guessing it's the same for that one. So we'll just go the other way. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um... Uh, yeah, I figured as much. Um, kitchen, clock. <laughs> All right, making fun of that. <clears throat> hmm. Look up. All right, knives. I mean, I feel like that would be the smart thing to do is take knives. We'll just not. Table. Oh. oh, painting take. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to get under. I guess I'll hide in a little bit. Alright, she's moving herself. Well, well. Boxes full of bleach. I suppose I deserve a bottle. I've worked hard for it. This reminds me of something. The first thing you need is a strong toilet bleach. You know the kind. Yeah. Not just a regular bleach, but one that makes your eyes all watery and skin itchy. Specifically, I'm guessing it's hydrogen peroxide. What's going on? Something is wrong, Mitzi. The cats are alarming. That's exactly like when I found you, Miss Ashworth. We've got to check what's going on. Oh, I'm really sorry, but there is no way I'm going out in this fog. I guess we've got to go out. Fine. I'll go on my own then. I guess we don't actually learn what the other uh, thing is at the moment. We gotta wait. 
Uh, we want to go first floor. Uh, let's check the mailbox. That's good. No mail means no more bills. Alright, uh, this way, then I think. Nope. Alright, well I guess we gotta go the other way then. Bloody fog. Can't see a thing. Someone could be getting murdered two feet away. And not a soul would notice. But still, it could be worse. At least it's not raining, eh? Always look on the bright side, they say. And I always do. Not okay. a talkative type, are you? What's your name, sweetheart? None of you. are such a scary cat, sweetheart. None of your damn Susan, business. Aren't you? A kind man had described to me what you look like. And what, what can I say? It was spot on. Did that asshole what above us? Want? I'm just Fucking... here on a job, sweetheart. Nothing more. I had a call, you see. There's a cat problem. Yep, that fucking asshole. Apparently, some crazy cat lady keeps making it worse for everyone. A crazy cat lady called Susan, I was told. Now, you ain't gonna like it, sweetheart, but I'm taking you for a ride. Oh, fuck. I guess that's how we ended up here. Uh, 20... God, they have a lot of bleach. I guess they need to get rid of a lot of the blood. Hmm. I mean... Examine the bathtub. I mean, I have a feeling that uh, the this is is what you would call like um, the stuff they use to dissolve. She don't. <laughs> well, look what the cat dragged in. Whoops. Um. Alright. Well, I fucked that up, didn't I? I want to remove the light. Uh, hold on. Too hot. Pretty sure I can just use this, right? Yeah, there we go. There's the other one, that lamp. Alright. We don't want to go back to the kitchen. Uh, this one. Lamp. Oh. I have one light bulb. Phone books, alright. Uh, I don't know. Uh, alright, we've got some phone. Use. 
Uh, oh no. No, no, no. Damn it. I can't remember my own number. I've got it written down somewhere at home, but I hardly ever use it. Yeah, right? I mean, uh, uh, find Susan number. Alright, there we go. Now we can. Whoops. Well, I mean, we can do this. Police emergency line, how can I help you? My name is Susan Ashworth. I've been kidnapped. These people are crazy! They're going to eat me alive! I don't know what to do. Please, you've got to help me. Please. What's your home address and postcode, ma'am? What? It's irrelevant! I've been kidnapped! I'm not there! I'm afraid I need your home address to confirm your identity, Miss Ashworth. It's flat 412 Helen Street, EX4422DL, okay? Now please, do something, for God's sake! Calm down, ma'am. Who's kidnapped you? I don't know who they are. They didn't tell me their names. No, but wait. He's an animal control guy. Drives a white van. He's got a wife. She poured bleach down my face. Bitch. They're... They're just mad. Won't stop at nothing. I'd run away, but there's this fog. And I have no idea where we are. You have been kidnapped by a married couple, is that correct? No, not just any married couple. Don't you understand what I'm saying? These people are fucking serial killers. There's blood and bones everywhere. I mean, some of it is cat's blood, but there's human blood too. I told you, they eat stray cats and dogs, and they eat people. They're sick. They make me sick. Is this a case of family disturbance, Mum? What? No! Did you know this married couple prior to the incident? Are you related? Jesus, did I say anything at all that would make you think that? Calm down, please. I'm only trying to help you, Mum. I need to establish some facts first before a police car can be dispatched. Look, just track this number and you'll find where I am. You can do that, yeah? They always do it on films. I bet you've got my number displayed on the screen already. Just do me a favor and send a police car, will you? Of course, ma'am. Stay on the line. Oh, did you witness cruelty to animals? What? You mentioned cat's blood. Was this married couple cruel to animals? If so, I will put you through to Animal Welfare Services for this area. Would you prefer that, ma'am? Are you joking? No, I would not. Okay, please hold the line. God, these guys Hello? are fucking useless. Miss Ashworth, uh, are you still there? Yes, of course I'm still here. According to our records, you recently discharged yourself from the hospital. Are you currently undergoing treatment for any mental health problems? No, oh my it's God. not like that. Miss Ashworth, please listen to me very carefully. I can connect you with the on-duty doctor at the RCW Hospital's mental health unit where <coughs> you received care recently. They can help you. You just have to talk to them and explain what's on your mind. I'm not fucking oh my God. crazy. What part of I've been kidnapped do you so not fucking understand? You're just not going to help me. We are not qualified to provide psychiatric help, ma'am. It's best That's if you contact not your what doctor. I need. Would you like me to give you their number in case you'd prefer to call them yourself? Oh. Don't bother. I'll take care of it myself. Thanks for nothing. Goodbye. What? 
All right, fucking use. There we go. Call Susan. It's flat. Come on, Mitzi. Answer the phone. Hello? Oh, thank God. Finally. Mitzi, it's me. I need your help. What's happened? Where are you, Ms. Ashworth? I've been kidnapped by some psychopaths. What? How did that happen? You only went downstairs to check on the cats. Look, it doesn't matter. I'll explain everything later. These people are maniacs. They're killers. It's either me or them. I have no choice. I've found some bleach. It reminded me of this gas you were talking about. I could get rid of one of them with that gas and get a hold of a gun. You said it was fairly easy. Miss Ashworth, no, you can't. Listen to me. This guy is a fucking murderer. He's nothing but a parasite. No one will miss him. Trust me. The police won't be coming to rescue me. And I could really do with a gun here, you know? I... but... What's the, the other chemical? Just tell me what the other tell chemical me. is. Now! Okay, fine, I'll tell you. It's no rocket science. You just need some pesticide. All right. Pesticide? Didn't you say it is something everyone's got at home? Well, you wouldn't use it. You live in a flat high above the ground. It's for people who own houses. Or, like, mansions. You can pick up these things at any supermarket anyway. Yeah. Fine. What do I do with it? Just mix bleach and the pesticide together. Make sure there isn't much ventilation. And wear some protection. A gas mask or something, yeah? Right. Bleach. Pesticide. Got it. And a gas mask. Got it? Yep. Thanks. I mean... Alright. Okay. We've gotta go. Thanks. Wish me luck. Be careful, Miss Ashworth. I'll be fine. I'm a tough old girl. This will be like a walk in the park. I mean, not the first time we will be around. All right, so I guess we've got to go find pesticides. Where would they be, though? Uh, maybe I'll just check down in the cellar again. Stairs, door, sneak in. Look at window. Oh, okay. You know what? I better have to go into his van to get the pesticides. Which will be outside. Main door. There we go. A uh, small window. Window. Uh, we just block it off. I guess that works. Uh, van. Search the back. Uh, he. Yeah. Search the van. Really? No. Can I, like, hold on. Yeah, but I could smash in the... Smash in the uh, window, right? Um, I guess not this way. Hmm. Is there anything else here that I could do? So a small window we blocked off, that'll take us back in. Loose brick. Uh, the knife maybe? We pry it loose? Yeah, it looks like that's it. Um, 
What's over this way? Uh, hmm. Do I wanna... Do I wanna go this way? I mean, maybe we can find something out this way. This is just the same. It seems like this is the same thing, but she said something to say. So maybe I've got to wait another minute or two, like another couple of screens. I think of another. St think I'm walking in a circle. All right, every I think it's every couple that she'll say something. Who knows? Um, I don't know if no escape. All right, get back to the house. And then we're right back there. Alright then, I guess. Uh, we can probably use this brick actually to smash uh, this window, right? Uh, use. Nice. Uh, we'll take the phone though. Doesn't hurt. <clears throat> Examine. Fully charged. Make a call. Alright, we don't have anyone to call right now. Uh, oh, probably, um, probably gonna have to call that, maybe? You know what, what if we, what if we drop this somewhere? Um, I bet we have to go all the way through the back. Bottles, can I, no, ah, uh. table, all right, we go through here, all right, Um, uh, wait, can we use the gas? No, okay. Uh, look around. Yeah. All right, so... I need to leave. Um. Where am I going to go? Hmm. What else could I do? Um, maybe we gotta go in here? I'm not 100% sure. Oh, uh, no, I can't find out the number for this house. Examine. Alright. There we go. I bet you we've got to go back this way. Um, and call from probably where the table is. So that way we can hide immediately. Um... <clears throat> And not die. Alright, so we're gonna go like this phone, make a call.
Then we hide under here. And then the crazy lady will come past. Come on. Alright, Susan, we don't have time to fuck about. Uh, we going to go out here and we want to just go in here uh, take pesticide doesn't look like there's anything else there and we might have to hide again I guess yep there we go we can get back under and I guess she'll walk back the other way All right, well, we can go um, kill that first guy. The one that actually kidnapped us now. We've got both the pesticide and the uh, the bleach. So let's enter here. And then can I... I mean, I do need to wear it, but sneak in. There we go. Because I don't want to accidentally kill myself by uh, mixing this and forgetting that I need a... Uh... Hello? I guess because she moved out of the way. Very nice. Now we've got a shotgun. Uh, then we want to go... Is it this way? No, this way. <laughs> Alright. Enter. Keep going. You know, this is a very silent hill with the fog and the creepy ass nurse. I wonder if that's, uh, you know, sort of the inspiration for this bit. Well, she's not here. Let's go back. Whoa, there she is. Nice. Do you know where I've been? Completely killer. for the broken machine. I guess, uh, Guess we can go now. And that is chapter five that we're up to. Very nice. Some flowers never bend towards the sun. All right, well. Miss Ashworth, I was worried sick about you. Are you all right? How did you get back? Don't worry about I it. I walked. You saw something terrible in that fog, didn't you? Eh. I saw a monster.
All right, that's nice. We've uh, we made it back to our apartment. Our, our apartment, at least. All right, uh, we've got control again. So that's going to do it for this one. Uh, thank you all for watching. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, all that cool, cool stuff that really helps out the channel. And I will see you guys next time.